Jacksonville City Council met Thursday to hear arguments for and against a proposal to extend a contract with waste management for the operation of the Trail Ridge landfill. Waste management has held a contract with the city since the early 90s. The estimated $750 million future contract would be paid for by taxpayer dollars spanning 35 years. This future impact caused debate by proponents of allowing competing waste companies to bid on the landfill's operation. The city's director of environmental compliance first addressed the council with the history of the waste management contract, his thoughts on its competitiveness, and the costs associated with bidding the contract to other companies. There is a risk associated with the dispute, so how do we go about resolving it? One of two ways. We can try to settle this for, or if we can get an operating fee comparable to other jurisdictions in Florida, transfer the closure and post-closure liability that we currently have under the current contract to the operator, and give us the right to implement new technologies when it makes sense from a cost perspective, and make sense that the, the deal makes sense and takes that the litigation risk is not worth taking. Additional concerns were raised by some council members after an anonymous caller Wednesday suggested they look into a 2003 contract violation by waste management for taking Jacksonville trash to a Georgia landfill to ultimately avoid paying fees to the city. Several council members told the Times Union they were never aware of the issue or a settlement signed by Peyton two weeks after taking office. Peyton, who was not in attendance at the council meeting, claimed the call was a deliberate distraction to the contract's extension. Council Auditor Kyle Billy also addressed the council before taking questions. My understanding is that when you put garbage in a landfill, you're always going to be liable. Finally, members of the public took the podium, including representatives from Republic Services, a competing environmental company hoping to bid on the landfill's operation. They, they have looked at the numbers. They, they very much understand the waste management business, believe this is to be too high, and that the city would do better through the Republic. is not saying it would win. They, they could be underbid. Yeah, I'm saying the current agreement. Yes. You would be able to beat the current agreement. Yes. Well, we've been able to see the proposed agreement. Uh, our people have looked at the proposed agreement. They've gone through it extensively. And, and they wouldn't be here pounding on, 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 on their uh, chest saying we can beat the deal. They come. We believe it's about 40% margin. Okay, well, industry standard is about half of that. All right? So it wasn't too difficult for us to write a letter saying we can beat that deal. We will beat that deal. For more on the Trail Ridge Landfill Waste Management Contract Extension debate, check out additional articles on Jacksonville.com and pick up a copy of Friday's Florida Times Union. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford. To the best of my knowledge, the landfill operation agreement was for a period of 20 to 25 years, and that agreement would need to be bid again at the completion of the original agreement. Mr. O'Connor was waste manager in 1921. He hired Mr. Harvey. He, he negotiated this deal. He's the star witness.